Hi everybody, welcome to Deal Loving Diva. My name is Vanessa and I'm here with you today to do a Couponing 101 video. Um, couponing 101 is pretty much going to be my series of teaching and instructing how to use coupons to our advantage. Um, for beginners, this is a great place to start, a great video to watch, and then we will progress um, as the months come. I will keep doing Couponing 101 videos, so if you see that in the description, you know, on the title, Couponing 101, um, just look at the description right next to it, uh, click it if you'd like to learn it. Uh, I suggest that you do follow along with my videos and go step by step with me. Um, that way you can learn with everybody else. So we're going to start out with where to find your coupons. Where do I get my coupons? So I'm going to tell you a couple of ways that you can get coupons. Um, the first way that you can get coupons is out of your Sunday paper. That is the best way. Um, it is, I get Sunday papers on Saturday night. I get the early Sunday paper, um, usually 7-Eleven, any gas stations, CVS, Walgreens, Walmart will sell a Sunday paper. All right, um, and what I usually do is I grab one off the bottom because some people like to steal coupon inserts out of the Sunday paper. I know it's sad, but in this economy, people do steal them. I noticed that one of my papers had a red plum insert taken out of it. So be really careful that you do get all of your coupon inserts in your paper. I mean, just grab one that looks like it's not been messed up. Uh, but that is the best way to get coupons. I mean, there are plenty of other ways that are free. You do have to pay for the paper, but you get that back in coupons, I promise you. The most common inserts that come <clears throat> in your Sunday paper are as follows. Red Plum. This is what it looks like, all right? Um, Red Plum has a lot of various coupons in it. Um, be sure that you check the front and back of all the pages and side to side because there are usually coupons on every single page of this and this is red plum all right the second one that usually comes is smart source and this is what it looks like smart source has a bunch of coupons um, this is probably my favorite insert that comes in the paper um, Procter and Gamble would be second and I'll show you that but this is the smart source one so look for something like this it's obviously not going to be the same every Sunday but it will say smart source across the top of it okay and then we have Procter and Gamble um, this is the P&G brand saver and as you see on the front there are hundred and two dollars worth of coupons in this little booklet alone and this is where you will find a lot of your toothpaste your Tide laundry detergent um, Pantene shampoo um, etc etc anything by Procter and Gamble that is on sale or has a coupon will be in this book. So this is a good book to get. Uh, granted, a lot of your newspapers are not gonna be the same. Um, like for instance, if I get all three, the Procter Gamble, the Red Plum, and the Smart Source, you might only get Red Plum and Smart Source, or you may only get Smart Source and nothing else. I, you know, I can't help that. Um, if you live closer to another big city, you might wanna get two big papers. Like uh, I live in Fort Worth, so I can get the Dallas paper and I can get the Fort Worth paper. So the Dallas paper might have something that the Fort Worth paper doesn't have and you know, vice versa. So I mean, it just all depends. And also on holidays, weekends where there is like a Memorial Day was Monday, we didn't get any coupons in our Sunday papers. So um, always make sure that you know there's not gonna be a holiday coming up on a Monday. Um, other than that, you're good. And another thing that comes in that Sunday paper is um, Target coupons, um, nine times out of 10 will be in there. And it's just an insert that looks like that. Don't think it's a store flyer, it is a uh, coupon thing. So those will come in the paper. Um, I recommend getting about two papers at least um, when you first start out couponing. And um, I will tell you like how I clip mine and how many I actually do clip as we progress. But go ahead and get your two papers. And I recommend clipping all the coupons out of those two papers and organizing them. You saw my coupon binder. Organize them the best way that you know how in your binder and your envelopes and in your index thing. Go ahead and start out with two of each coupons. So you get one of each coupons in each paper. So you're gonna have two of each when you get two papers. So that way when you find something that we can get for free or get extra care bucks on, register rewards, 
you can say, well, I've got two of these, so I can, you know, I can get two of that. So uh, it's a really good place to start. Uh, right now, myself, I'm, I'm ending up probably getting about four to six newspapers every week. And um, that's just because if there's something really good going on that I've done matchups on on Saturday night, I'll go back and get a couple more on Sunday. Um, more than likely, they're going to be out of newspapers come Monday morning. So you want to make sure that you get them Saturday night or early Sunday morning and make sure that you get at least get them by Monday morning because they're the way couponing has blown up it is it's astronomical another one is the all you magazine I don't have mine with me it's at home but I've already clipped it to shreds all you magazine is sold at Walmart and you can go to all you.com and you can see some of their exclusive coupons and you can also sign up for a subscription to their magazine um, this month had over $91 in coupons in their magazine, and they're good coupons, like NYC $5 off coupon. Um, I think there was some rental. I mean, it, it just has some really good stuff that sometimes you may not find in your newspaper. Okay, another source, <clears throat> online coupons. These are also known as printable coupons. Um, there are several, several sites uh, and ways that you can get these. The number one place is coupons.com, but as a shortcut, if you go to my blog in the down bar, deallovingdiva.blogspot.com and click on printable coupons. Everything from coupons.com is going to be right there on my website for you to print out. So that's a good source right there. Um, another one is redplum.com. Now they're not going to have the exact same ones that are in the Red Plum newspaper. They're just going to have a few of them and they differ from your zip code. So make sure you enter your zip code up in the top on each of these sites. And you guys, I will link all of these in my blog. So if you'd like a detailed list, I know I'm talking fast because I need to keep this under 10 minutes, but you need to go to my blog and you can print out, or I'm, I'm sorry, you can write down and really take notes on all these sites. Um, another one is uh, smartsource.com. Um, you can go there, um, smartsource.com redplum.com, coupons.com, but like I said, they're all listed on my website. Um, another place that you can go, um, or not really go, to get coupons, but uh, Facebook. Facebook is a wonderful, wonderful way to get a ton of coupons. Um, and I'll tell you how to find out who's having Facebook deals, but that comes later on. Right now we're just learning the basics of where to get them. Um, say you like Snuggle. Snuggle fabric softener, you love it, you're in love with it. Okay, go to Snuggle's Facebook, like them, and nine times out of ten, you're going to get a coupon. All right, so you have to kind of look for it. Sometimes you have to do a little game to get your coupon or enter your name and your email to get your coupon, but it's worth it, worth it, worth it. Um, another thing I forgot to mention, you may only print two like coupons on online from each of these sites. They track your IP address. So if you're one of those ones that really wants a lot of coupons, you better make sure you have one, two, three, four computers at your house because one computer can print two coupons from each of these websites. So for example, if Smart Source has their Cheerios on sale for or you know 50 cent coupon on Smart Source, you may only print that twice. It will track your IP address. So Anyway, that's just an FYI. You can't go print a million zillion of them. Um, another way that you can do it is in-store coupons, such as CVS. Um, we all know about their extra bucks. We know about the Magic Coupon Machine, and I'll talk more about this. Uh, Walgreens has a coupon booklet when you walk in their door. Um, it's located next to the flyers. Um, Safeway, Albertsons, Kroger's, all those places will have some coupons in their weekly ad. Just check those out. And I believe if you're one of the ones that has a Rite Aid, I think there's something called Ad Perks. I'm not too familiar with that, but um, there are plenty of people who are. So I just Google the Ad Perks and you'll find out how to get your coupons there. Another one is hangers, coupon hangers. And these are what they look like. They hang off of a product. I'm just going to use my Coke for example and they'll be just like this in the store and they'll have coupons hanging off of them. I'm running out of time. I'm sorry if I'm going fast. Um, another one is coupon blinkies. These are going to be in your grocery store down the aisle. They're called blinkies because they have a red blinker that's going to be blinking on and off to let you know that there's a coupon available for that particular item. Pull it out. Another one will pop through. Go ahead and get you a couple of them. All right. Um, and also these are what the printable coupons look like when they come out. So. 
another thing that you can do is you can get peelies. They are, uh, those are stickers that are on the product that are manufacturer's coupons, more than likely, that when you buy something like, you know, mascara, and it'll say save $2 now, just peel off that little thing, and there's your coupon. Um, there are so many more things I need to discuss, but I am at 9 minutes and 57 seconds, so I will be making a